Baba Boys, welcome back to the Baba Boys podcast. Yesterday we went and did a solo episode talking about all of the brand new stuff to coming to Fortnite Season 3. And today we have so much more news coming up in the next season of Fortnite tomorrow. So I'm joined with Nate to talk about Guys, all the new stuff. I'm out of retirement and I totally did not swear in the first minute of our last recording. Yeah, no, no, no never. Um, so... Today we should be on stage 5 or 6, I can't tell what time it switches over, of the Sandstorm. So it's almost as close as it will get before the new season. It's just a little teaser thing, but it's pretty hype. I think the Sandstorm is looking pretty cool, and you should be able to see the boat peeking out with some red lights currently on the map. Sometimes though, I don't think it shows up, so if it doesn't, maybe just queue into another game or something like that, and you should be able to see it. Um... <laughs> So, since our last recording, we got uh, quite a few teasers. The first one was a video from Fortnite called "Courtesy of the Brotherhoods of St uh, of the Brotherhood Ooh. of Steel," and um, you can see a few people running past. They're popping what looks like slap juice, but I assume I assume that this based is based on based on the suits. I'm thinking we're thinking it's, it's Nuka Cola. Yeah, we think we are thinking it's oh, Nuka Cola, yeah. and it does look kind of like it. Um, and these guys just start like zooming right after they pop it and then yeah. it pans over to five different people wearing some T60 power armor according to what it says in the video um, and we can see these guys are talking uh, they're holding a whole bunch of guns so mm. we'll talk about those guns a bit to start off with we'll go over the background of this video we can see that this is actually set in snooty steps surprisingly enough um, you can spot uh, all of these buildings in the same shot that I'll put out on screen now. And um, I think the reason why it's in Sunny Steps is because this giant sandstorm exactly. is right next to Sunny Steps. That is true. And um, it's probably going to fill up like the entire bottom half of Sunny Steps. Kind of reminds me of how they had um, sand filling up parts of um, Salty Towers in Chapter 2. No, um, no, I... We're not chapter two, season five. Just no, no, <laughs> no, 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 not a good season. Now onto yeah. the guns, and we can see that there's also a laser rifle. This is what Hypex has called it. Not my words. If it's wrong, don't blame me. Um, but it looks to be fired by one of the people in the power armor, along with a whole bunch of other guns that we can see. Um, the guy that's running past and at the start of the shot seems to be running a modded combat AR, so it looks like weapon mods will be staying around for a bit I longer. I have combat ARs coming back. Never yeah. gonna use it again. It's not good at all. But, I mean, what what if the recoil mods actually make it balanced? I... I you know, I could see that. Mm. That could be very broken. You are right. I, I think it could be a Striker AR 2.0. And I oh, love God, the Striker no. AR. No, it would be, it would be like a... Thing, uh, SMG or some of the bus, it would be feel like a busted SMG. Oh god, no. <laughs> <laughs> That's something to um, keep in mind is the horrors of that combat AR in the future. Now, another thing we can see, actually, I have this bookmarked, is the Fallout armor skin also has a Black Knight variant. So, it, Hypex thinks this might be a skin. I'm thinking there could be some sort of mythic related to it. Um, but maybe if it isn't, uh, we do see a Black Knight style in this little short trailer, and it's very obvious because it has the same red pattern on its chest. Um, now another thing to do with this teaser is we've actually seen a um, a whole bunch of other guns that people have like named from those five people. So going left to right, we can see that um, Silver Guy is running the Ranger Shotgun. This is according to FN Assist. A new flamethrower flame item is what the Black Knight oh skin is holding. The middle guy is holding a spear harpoon gun. Uh, second to the right is the laser rifle. And then on the far right, we can see someone holding the minigun. So it looks like we're going to be bringing back the minigun. I don't know how good it's going to be. I reckon it's going to be nerfed into the ground. But <laughs> even so, I think we'll see a few pros running it just for the fun oh God, of it. I can already imagine. Next season. I'm going to have to turn down my volume next season. Someone also got a screenshot of how close they could get to the shark bait boat in game. And um, apparently it's animated and it sways in the water. 
and you can actually see a reasonably good mm. size like shot of this keep in mind though this is actually scaled down from what it's going to be it's actually going to be a full POI's worth size um, but currently it is quite small just for the effect of it being far away to go along with this we can also see in the little um, beachside villa POI I think um, there is a sandstorm that you can actually visibly see and walk straight through um, there's bits of leaves getting blown around and stuff like that the wind is starting to kick up at the moment um, so if you want to drop in there just for a bit more of the hype you can actually see some of the sandstorm close by we also have from Fortnite dogs? game a ruthless leader unleashed uh, we can see the guy with the pointy up here is showing below him the new shark bait POI um, that's apparently the name of the boat, and it looks very much so like the actual shark POI from Chapter 2 Season 2. Um, with a bit of an attached rig and dock sort of area. So it's going to be similar-ish, but I think this POI could look really sick. And I, I'm going to take a guess, and in the Battle Pass or the gameplay trailer, we're going to see this boat crash into an island. And that is where the um, POI is going to be set up. Um, I don't know if that's true or not, but just for the hell of it, I'm going to call that. Um, <clears throat> now actually looking further into the skin, we can see like tubes coming out of his mouth, which is kind of crazy looking. Um, I don't know what this is really, but... Oh my god, my mind just went to the worst place after you said that. So I don't know if we're going to get another one tomorrow, um, because the last one was 14 hours ago, but it looks so cool. Um, I'm really excited for the POI. Not so much for the skin, it's not my style of skin. And the final thing I do have bookmarked is the combat shotgun returning in Season 3. So this is um, no, alongside no, the combat no, AR that no, we were no, talking no, about no, earlier. No, 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 no. We're not doing Season X all over again. We're not doing mech suits and combat shotguns. Please, Fortnite. <laughs> please. So we're not 100% sure of that because FN Assist did say that the... Uh, gun in the video was the Ranger shotgun, so maybe Hypex is confused and it's actually the Ranger shotgun, or maybe if in assist is confused and it's the combat shotgun. Another thing that I did see and I did talk a bit about uh, in the last episode was that vehicle weapon attachments will be coming in season three, most likely. This is according to that text leak we saw, and apparently Mark Rain also confirmed a bit of this. They've had they've had the mods. They've got you know the cow catcher and the and the the, the big wheels. That was that was really cool. You know. But they've they've been talking about for seasons having turrets on top of cars and stuff like that, uh, and it true, hasn't true. came to be. I mean, they had the battle bus. You can't knock them on that one. True, but it seems like we may still get um the like it seems like we may still get more mods that you can chuck on or maybe it'll be a mod bench for cars maybe you'll drive it into a garage and add a tart for some gold Ooh. we don't know but that's something to keep in mind we have a bit more information on that and the final thing i do have for today is the creator feedback program so uh fortnite posted a mm -hmm. blog um recently talking about uh becoming a creative uh a creator for sending in like feedback for the game and like ideas about upcoming UEFN and creative features. And then they removed it. It's probably going to come back at some point, but this is a step in the right direction because it gives creators a much um, bigger kind of impact on where the game could go. And I think creators are much more representative of the player base than just some of the com community um, like managers, I guess, that they have. Um, so that's something interesting for the future. If you do see someone talking about a creative feedback pro uh, program, then you'll know what they're talking about now. Mm. Um, so yeah, to recap, we do have some new guns, the combat AR and, uh, combat or ranger shotgun could be coming back. And we have a look at five different edit styles or maybe four, uh, of the T60 power armor could be a skin or it could be different mythics we don't actually know for sure on that one a nuka cola item and um, a lot more hype around um, some of these teasers is seeming to be building um, but yeah if, if you don't want to if, oh. if I get jumped by a mech suit a combat shotgun and a flamethrower I'm quitting the game 
<laughs> I swear to God. <laughs> I, I can understand that. If you do want to catch the downtime, I will be streaming at 6 p.m. my time, which is going to be 2 a.m. ET for most of you guys. Um, and Yikes. we will be we will be catching the new season, and we'll be playing a, f a few hours of it from the start if we can. Um, and yeah, just tune into the stream. Come say hi if you can for a bit. Um, and even if you can't make the new season, you can come in and you can just chat, and we'll probably show some of the leaks for the new season as the getting developed so yeah it's always a fun time to join in with the downtime streams so ch tune in if you want um but yeah that's gonna be all for today um and yeah i will catch you guys in the next one tomorrow let's just say i think we don't want mech suits please tell me it's just again please <laughs> i'm begging you for it. better watch out because the boys back in town